In their opening match this season, Tigers and Civic squared off on Sunday at the SKW Stadium. In the first 45 minutes of the game, chances were few and far in between for the two sides who failed to pose a real threat for the goalkeepers of the opposing sides. The second half saw the tempo increase and worked to Nguanyama's advantage when Emmanuel Ampofo got in behind enemy lines to score Tigers' only goal of the match. On the other end, Civics could have capitalized on Maximilian Baeva's goalkeeping error, but their subsequent free kick was well defended by the wall. The civilian's best chance of the second half was created by Tangeni Nairus, who set up Mjanja Maharero to apply the finishing touch but missed. The Shandumbala boys, however, hung on to the final whistle to make it two wins out of two against Civics for their coach. Tigers head coach James Brett stated that his team did not get into full gear but was glad to pick up three points. There's a lot of things that we trained on but didn't come to perfection. Um, maybe it's because of the first game. But also I was very disappointed in certain areas where, where we didn't keep the ball, especially in the, in the in that, in Civics half. Despite a disappointing start to the season, Civics head coach Jeremy Zima was proud of his team. Until we started late and um, only three, four days to prepare and play your first fixture against Tigers that is three now for maybe a month or two. There's still a lot to do. So at least we have this week, we're not playing this coming weekend. So I think our next uh, two fixtures, we will come to the party. On Saturday's match day, champion stars moved past Pirates in a four-goal thriller. Last season's runner-up, Omea, also demolished new boys over Karara Young Warriors by the same margin. The Yellow Brigade also announced themselves to the big league with a comfortable 2-0 away win over young Brazilians. Ongos began a new era by keeping a clean sheet and netting twice on their travels. The students of Unam snatched the victory on the road, while the Julinho Sporting vs. Life Fighters game was the only goalless draw of Round 1. Reporting for NBC Sport, I'm Nicholas Theremo Ventuk.